Let us learn how to calculate GDP deflator and inflation rate uh, from the given data. The question is consider the following table. Assume only apples and bananas are produced in an economy. Also, we assume that 2010 is the base year in this data. Okay, so we are being given year here. Uh, price of apple uh, in different years, quantity of apples in different years, price of banana in different years and quantity of banana. We need to calculate the GDP deflator and inflation rate. Okay, so by GDP deflator, what we mean GDP deflator, uh, we also call it implicit price deflator also. It is used to measure inflation. Okay, so it is used to determine the level of prices of the newly domestically produced uh, you know final goods and services in an economy in an year and how do we calculate the gdp deflator, deflator? let us see so uh, for 2011 okay so uh, to calculate uh, you know gdp deflator the formula is simple uh, gdp deflator is equal to nominal gdp divided by real gdp times 100 okay this formula gives us the gdp deflator okay so for 2011 okay for 2011 first we need to find out the nominal gdp okay so nominal gdp for 2000 let us denote it by n gdp that means nominal gdp in 2011 is simply equal to and uh, you know the quantity of apples times uh, their price so we have 100 into 1 plus the quantity of banana times the uh, you know price of banana that is 100 uh, into 2 so this comes out to be you know this is 200 and 100 this comes out to be 300 okay and we also need to calculate the real GDP for 2011 so real GDP is simply how do we calculate the real GDP simply uh, we take the current year you know quantity and multiply it with the base year price that means current year quantity is 100 base year price of uh, apple is uh, you know one so our uh, we have 200 into one so this one is actually uh, the base year price plus uh, you know uh, the quantity of banana which is 100 into the base year price of uh, you know banana which is again uh, you know two so this comes out to be 300 that means uh, the real uh, what we call the deflator is equal to so deflator will be equal to GDP deflator for 2011 nominal GDP we calculated it is as yeah, you know 300 300 divided by real GDP we calculated it is 300 again into 100 okay so which comes out to be 100 that means the GDP deflator for 2011 is 100 Let's calculate uh, for 2012. 2012. Again, first we need to calculate the nominal uh, GDP. Okay, for 2012, simply uh, nominal GDP will be equal to, you know, price into uh, current price into uh, current quantity. So current price is two. Current quantity is 200. So we have 200 into the price of apple in current year. That is two plus the price of uh, you know quantity of banana is 100 uh, times the price of banana is 4 so which comes out to be 400 plus 400 which comes out to be 800 and what is the real gdp then real gdp for the year 2012 is equal to okay to calculate the real gdp we multiply current year you know quantity with base year prices so we have 200 is the current quantity and base year price is 1 so we write here 1 plus same for this so current year quantity of banana is 100 and we multiply it with the base year price which is 2 so which comes out to be 200 plus 200 which comes out to be 400 okay for 2012 what is the GDP deflator then so GDP deflator for 2012 is equal to nominal gdp we calculated it as 800 divided by real gdp which is 400 to this we multiply 100 this gives us the gdp deflator for 2012 which comes out to be 8 divided by 4 is 2 times uh, 100 which comes out to be 
200 okay so this is how do we calculate the gdp later now to calculate the inflation rate okay let me rub this out so to calculate the inflation rate we can calculate it uh, by inflation what we mean uh, inflation uh, you know is the change in the price level price level over time okay so inflation is the percentage uh, change in the uh, you know cpi between two years let let me uh, show how to calculate first uh, consumer price index okay so to calculate inflation we need to calculate the consumer price index so uh, let us denote c pi that is consumer price index for two base year will be equal to let's denote it by 2010 that means consumer price index for 2010 which is base year which is equal to okay we add up the prices of apples and banana so we have 2 plus 1 is 3 so we write the current prices with and divide it again with the current prices okay i am calculating cpi for base year and to this we multiply 100 so base year will be always equal to 100 or 1000 you can multiply it uh, you know sometimes uh, by uh, 1000 so it will be always uh, like you know 100 or 1000 we take it as the base year okay then what will be the cpi for uh, you know 2010 so sorry 2011 cpi for 2011 will be equal to you know the current year prices that means price of banana is 2 plus 1 is 3 to this we divide the base year prices so sum of base year prices is 1 plus 2 which is again 3 and to this we multiply 100 that means cpi for 2011 is again 100 and uh, symmetrically what will be the cpi for uh, you know 2012 2012 so uh, for uh, 2012 we add up the current year prices of 2012 that is 4 plus 2 which is 6 to this we divide by the base year prices that is 2 plus 1 which is 3 and to this we multiply by 100 so we get here 6 divided by 3 is 2 so we get here 200 okay now we can calculate the inflation rate so inflation rate for 2000 uh, you know so let uh, let's denote you know inflation rate by pi okay so inflation rate for 2011 will be equal to and uh, uh, let uh, you know uh, remember that inflation is along rather i will say inflation is always uh, between two periods okay between 2011 and 12 or uh, between 2010 and 11 so inflation is always you know calculated between two periods of time okay so inflation for 2011 will be equal to the cpi consumer price index in 2011 minus consumer price index in 2010 to this we divide by uh, cpi uh, in 2010 okay we calculated cpi in 2011 which is 100 to this we multiply uh, by 100 percent it gives us the inflation rate so inflation rate will be equal to so 2011 the cpi is 100 minus uh, cpi of 2010 is 100 divided by 100 into 100 percent that means inflation rate for 2011 will be equal to 100 minus 100 is zero so all step becomes zero so we have zero percent okay so inflation rate for 2000 you know 11 is zero percent and what is the inflation rate for 2012 2012 will be equal to cpi uh, you know in 2012 minus cpi in 2011 divided by uh, cpi in 2011 to this we multiply by 100 percent so 
CPI in uh, 2012 we calculated it is 200 for 2011 we calculated CPI is 100 so this we divide by CPI of 2011 which is 100 so this is uh, you know actually uh, 200 minus 100 comes out and to this we multiply by 100 uh, percent so this comes out to be 2 minus 1 so it comes out to be 100 percent okay that means inflation rate for period 2012 is 100 percent okay both are uh, you know inflation inflation rate can also be uh, you know calculated using the gdp deflator and uh, we can also see the inflation rate uh, you know uh, between two periods here we got uh, you know the inflation rate for 2011 is sorry gdp deflator for 2011 is 100 gdp deflator for 2012 is you know 200 and uh, we can also use this to calculate the inflation rate simply uh, so let us show uh, the deflator here so uh, inflation rate for 2012 will be equal to you know deflator value in 2012 minus deflator value in 2011 divided by deflator value in 2011 again you will see we will get 200 minus to this we multiply by 100 uh, okay 100 percent obviously so 2012 we have 200 so we have 200 minus you know 100 divided by 100 again to this we multiply by 100 percent we will get you know 100 percent is you know inflation rate for 2012 if we use the gdp deflator method and what is the value of uh, you know uh, gdp deflator for base year you can also um, calculate it like we calculated the cpi for the base year okay so gdp deflator for base year will be equal to and let me show it here uh, gdp deflator will be equal to the nominal gdp so nominal gdp nominal gdp will be equal to real gdp okay divided by real gdp into 100 and in the base year nominal gdp and real gdp are same that means so what is nominal gdp uh, 100 into 1 plus 50 into 2 so 100 so this comes out to be 100 plus 100 so that is uh, 100 divided by 100 into 100 okay so this will give us the gdp deflator for the base year 2010 which will come out to be 100 like uh, we have the base year uh, cpi uh, you know uh, index as 100 uh, in the same way uh, the GDP deflator for base year is always equal to 100 or 1000 whatever you take it here uh, you know for the sake of simplicity we take 100 and eight times we use 1000 okay so this is how we calculate uh, you know the GDP deflator and uh, to calculate the inflation rate okay so we can also always use GDP deflator okay in calculating the inflation rate or we can use the cpi method in calculating the inflation rate 